In fiber optic communication, optical modules are key hardware components, but their complex acronyms can be confusing. What do they mean and how can we understand them? Let's break down what they mean so you can easily understand them. When we are purchasing optical modules, you'll see terms like 1G, 10G for speed, but what about SFP, QSFP? These refer to the form factor, basically the physical shape of the module. The form factors of 1G optical modules are SFP. 10G form factors are SFP plus XFP. 25G form factors are SFP28. 40G form factors are QSFP plus. 100G form factors are QSFP28 CFP. 200G form factors are QSFP56 CFP2. 400G and higher speed optical modules adopt the QSFP DD form factor. These are the more commonly used form factors. Different package types correspond to different switch port types. For example, SFP is inserted into the SFP port on the switch, but there are exceptions. Many switch ports support backward compatible. For example, the SFP module might work in the SFP Plus port or the QSFP Plus module in the QSFP28 port, depending on the compatible type of the switch. So, in addition to the form factor, what about acronyms like SX, SR, LR? This refers to the transmission distance. For example, for a 1G SFP optical module, SX refers to a transmission distance of 550 meters. LX refers to 10 kilometers. EX refers to 40 kilometers. And ZX refers to 8 kilometers. In a 10G SF Plus optical module, SR refers to a short distance optical module with a transmission distance of 300 meters. LR refers to 10 kilometers. ER refers to 40 kilometers. And ZR refers to 80 kilometers. If it is a 40G, 100G optical module, LR4 refers to a transmission distance of 10 kilometers. And ER4 refers to a transmission distance of 40 kilometers. Why do they add a four at the end? Because it is four channels. 40G can be divided into four 10G channels, and 100G can be divided into four 25G channels. These are the most common meanings of these acronyms. There are also some differences in different brands and modules, so you need to pay attention to them when purchasing. There are also some special acronyms, like BD, bidirectional, which uses WDM to send and receive data on a single fiber using different wavelengths, TX for transmit, RX for receive. Then there's DWDM and CWDM, two key fiber optic technologies. DWDM, Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexing, which packs many signals into a single fiber with tight wavelength spacing, such as 0.4 nanometers, 0.8 nanometers, and 1.6 nanometers. CWDM, Coarse Wavelength Division Multiplexing, uses wider wavelength spacing, typically 20 nanometers, to multiplex optical signals, supporting fewer channels. The standard defines 18 wavelengths covering the 12.7 to 16.10 nanometer range. Okay, that's it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel.